Welcome back. Did you know that discarded clothing and other fabrics create 6% of New York's waste? That's 386 million pounds of textiles a year. But now the group Wearable Collections is providing a no-cost turnkey answer to this environmental dilemma. And in the process, they're helping people all over the world, too. Adam Barukowitz is their founder and CEO. He's here to tell us more about it. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Every closet in New York has clothing that hasn't been worn in at least a year, and yet we hang on to it. Why? Well, why do we hang on to it? I think because we probably paid some good money for it. <laughs> and when you pay 50 to $60 for something, it's hard just to dispose of it for free. <laughs> True, but you know, you're, you're, not, you're not wearing it. I mean, I know I have stuff in there that I'll never put on again, and yet it, there it hangs, right? Well, I think New Yorkers um, have limited space, so they are apt to get rid of it um, a little quicker than other people who have, you know, tons of space in their attics and, and basements and such. I know uh, you're very devoted to this issue because even for uh, during the marathon, you, when people were shedding their clothes along the way, who, who was out there? I was actually watching people that were just about to run 26 miles, and I, I was like, I wish I was in that crowd versus having to collect some of the 30,000 pounds of clothes we were about to collect. And, and you know, and more than often, these clothes that we hang on to, they're still in really good shape. It's just such a waste because sometimes people just finally they say, I've got to, I've got to get rid of everything, so they just bag it up, toss it in the trash. Yeah, well, I guess we have, you know, what they call fast fashion. You know, we're always looking for the next season, the next hot items to wear. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we have clothes from the last season that we got to get rid of. All right. So what is your alternative to throwing them out or even just putting them on the street and hoping someone's going to come along and pick them up? Well, we provide buildings with bins to bring the convenience to New Yorkers. We're, we're local. We're, we're New Yorkers ourselves. And we understand that it's really difficult to dispose of four to five bags at a time, even if there is a Salvation Army or Goodwill somewhere in your neighborhood. Most people don't have cars, so it takes several trips. So we actually place bins inside of buildings to bring the convenience to the New Yorkers, knowing that if you bring the convenience to New Yorkers, they'll probably do the right they'll thing. Do. We like convenience. Yeah. You'll also help them uh, organize clothing drives, won't you? That's right. We do dozens of clothing drives with community organizations and a lot of public schools. Basically, any organization, we can help them raise funds through the collection of clothing. Yeah. Um, one of the things that, that I really like, I, was, I went on your website and was looking around, and uh, people will actually raise money for their own charities by cooperating with you. It's not just all about you benefiting from their largesse. They also can, can have their charities benefit as well. How does that work? Totally. We, um, we actually, once we collect the clothes, we bring it to a sorting facility, and they pay us on a per pound basis based on the market rate hmm. for the clothing. And we always dedicate 20% of our gross post or proceeds to a partnering charities that we work with. And these clothes go where? These clothes go to a sorting facility first, and they determine the final destination for it. The items that can be reused, which is about 50%, are sent to emerging markets. From the people we deal with, it goes to Central and South America. Um, and it gets to them cost effectively, basically, but it's always being sold on a market rate. Basically. Yeah, I mean, and, and they don't care if it's last year's fashion or five years ago's fashion. They're just really happy to have these clothes that are probably well taken care of. I mean, most of us take good care of our clothes here. So Yeah, I mean, they seem very happy with it. All right. So let's. Uh, how can someone participate? Give me. Give me the, the. You can go to our website www.wearablecollections.com, and you can either request a bin for your building. You can fill out a form to request a bin for your building, or you can um, fill out a form to uh, host a clothing drive for your organization. Now I know one of the things out there is that consignment shops are really popular right now, especially with this economy. Um, just give me an idea. I know this is, it's it's for charity and for people other parts of the world, but quickly because we're almost out of time. How does it differ? I mean, in terms for the person giving. I mean, for us, it's, it's convenience, basically. Yeah. I think that's what separates us from the other organizations. We really try to create hubs of collections to make it convenient for people so that they don't have to discard them in the garbage. Awesome. Adam Barukowicz, thank you with Wearable Collections.